I just found a Studio Ghibli style inspired theme for Shatsi and UI components and it is incredible. If you have been obsessed with Studio Ghibli style images just like me, then you're going to love this theme because you can bring the same style to your website. Now, if you don't know what Ghibli style images are, then it's essentially these images that you may have seen going around on social media. Everyone's obsessed with it and creating these images by uploading the images that they have. Studio Ghibli is a very popular Japanese studio that is popular for this specific artwork and OpenAI has made it possible to apply the Ghibli style theme to your images with this specific model GPT-40. So, and now that we have a Ghibli studio inspired theme for Shatsi and UI, we are going to see even more websites with this specific theme as well. So let's take a look at this theme. It is called as the Matsu theme and it is created by Matt. Now I'm going to, I'm not going to try to butcher their last name, but this is the creator who created this specific theme and it is really beautiful, modern, elegant, and clean. It is essentially a two-step process to install the theme and the components. But let's take a look at how the theme looks like. So if you go to the login page, this is how beautiful the login page is going to look with this specific theme. Similarly, if you go to the dashboard page, then all the Shatsi and UI components are on this page. So as you can see, there's a card component, light bar component. Then we have different charts here. We have tabs. We have a table here. Now, all these components use the Matsu theme created by Matt. Now, if you take a look at the components, then we also have buttons, we have inputs, forms, layouts, data display, overlays, and so many more. So this is just a showcase of all the beautiful shot scene components and the variants. And as you can see, you can see all the different button variants, the button sizes, different inputs, and so on. So if you are interested in using this theme in your next project, I would totally do it because this is, looks really cool. So in order for us to install it, we just need to install the theme and then the components. And what these commands, what they're going to do is they're going to override the default variables in your global.css file and add classes to it. This way, those classes can be applied throughout your website. Similarly, if you have an existing set of Shatsi and UI components that you're using already, then it's also going to override the default components with the Matsu themed components as well. And lastly, we just need to apply the fonts and layout and also a class name. So let's go ahead and install this theme in our dashboard page. This is a very simple Next.js app that uses the Shatsi and UI components. As you can see, we have a card component, we have calendar, input, and so on. So let's go ahead and apply the theme to it. So let's just copy this, which will install the theme and Let's head over to the terminal and paste this. Now, as, as I said before, it's going to install a new style and it's going to replace the existing CSS variables and components. So I'm just going to say yes. And now if we take a look at the globals.css file, then it has a bunch of CSS variables here, as well as a class name called as texture that we'll get to. Then if we go head back, if we copy the components, then let's paste the components command as well. And this is literally going to take a look at the components folder that you have set up as part of ShatCN and it's going to ask you if it's okay to, for it to override with the theme. So we're just going to say yes to everything. And as you can see, I have a bunch of component and it has gone ahead and overridden everything. And as you can see, it has essentially replaced it with a bunch of new variables that it has created. And now let's just go ahead and apply the layout to it. So we're just going to copy it. The key things you want to note in layout is that these two fonts that it has set up to make it look like the Ghibli style theme, it needs fonts, obviously. So it's essentially getting that from Google fonts. Similarly, it is also applying those variables here and also adding the class name texture that we just saw in globals.css, which it set up in previous steps. So let's just copy this, go back to our code and open up layout.tsx and just paste it. Now again, texture is applied, but, and now let's just go ahead and start our development server. So now if you go here and refresh the page, we should see a Ghibli style theme. There we go. So this is how it looks like. It is beautiful. The calendar itself is looking incredible. You can type anything, search anything if you want. We have a switch as well and so on. 
But the cool thing about this theme is that you can also customize it easily because all it has done, it has set up default variables and classes. So you can basically just replace that and use it to customize however you like. You can also take a look at these components for inspiration as well. This way you can create something of your own as well. Now I'm definitely going to apply this specific theme to my projects. I would also encourage you to do the same because it is just incredible. If you are building with ChatCN and if you want a cool looking theme, which is just like the Ghibli style theme, if you want your theme to look a little bit magical, then definitely this is a no brainer. If you end up trying this specific theme, I would love to see your website. So please comment below and let me know if you end up creating your website with this Ghibli Studio inspired theme. And if you want me to create more videos like this one for libraries and things that I discover daily, then please comment below and let me know. As next steps, if you haven't already, definitely check out the full stack AI SaaS video, which is a nine hour long video that I would highly recommend you to try and build and deploy a full stack AI SaaS application. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.